Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen Series. My name is Joost Appelbaum and in this series we ask famous pen people about their personal Top 3 Pens. Every Monday we have a new episode, so if you don't want to miss out on any, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This week we have a special guest all the way from Australia. It is Chuck Savier from the Nip Section Podcast. The Nip Section Podcast is a podcast about fountain pens and is made by our friends from Oceania. You should definitely listen to their podcast after this video. Let's have a look at Chuck's top three pens. Hey there scrubs and scribblers. Chuck here from the Nib section, official podcast of Fountain Pens Oceania. The crew at Applebaum have asked me to do a video about my top three fountain pens in my collection. Uh, stiff competition, right? Uh, I'm sure if you ask me on another day, I may come up with another three. But within my relatively small collection, these are my top three. Uh, the first up is the Aurora Optima. Uh, this pen is such a favorite of mine that I have four, uh, but this is the model that I bought from Applebone. Uh, so it is quite fitting, but it is a piston filler. It's got a 14 or 18 karat nib, uh, depending on the model you get. Uh, it's a great workhorse. I love them. I have four. I have no other duplicates in my collection apart from these. Uh, next up, I think everybody should have a number six nib size holder. Uh, and my pick is the Kasama Una, which is a Philippine made fountain pen. Uh, the organizers, you, you kind of have to get in contact with them to be able to order one, but there's a few different materials they make. This one that I have is made out of Ultem, which is a medical grade uh, thermoplastic. It's great, uh, has distinguished itself through NaNoWriMo, uh, I have done pages and pages with this pen. Uh, the grip, the size, and the weight have meant it has been very comfortable for long stretches. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. I have a Franklin Christoph 1.1cc uh, nib in it at the moment. Uh, that's my number two. And my number three is one of my grails. It is a Delta Dolce Vita uh, Orange Shadow. Uh, piston filler, but it's a captured converter, essentially. Number eight size nib, ebonite feed, and core uh, are very great nib. Uh, they only made 18 of these pens, uh, and I was lucky enough to find one to snag. Uh, so my top three in summation are the Aurora Optima, uh, which I think anybody can and should get, the Kasama Una, which is a little more difficult to get, uh, because they do small runs, but you should still be able to get one. And the one that will be difficult is the Delta Dolce Vita Orange Shadow Demonstrator. Uh, that's my top three for today. Thanks for watching, guys.